Hello, city of Brockton. I am Philip Hosaurus, Brockton Poet Laureate with exciting news. After a citywide search, I am pleased to announce that Brockton has selected its first Youth Poet Laureate. Saturday, May 7th, the finals were held at the Brockton Public Library, representing Brockton High School, Ayanna Blake, and representing Cardinal Spellman High School, Hannah Baptiste. Reading their poem about Brockton and an original poem followed by their vision of what they want to accomplish as Youth Poet Laureate, the judges from Massasoit Community College deliberated as head judge Professor Mark Walsh announced that this was the hardest decision he has ever had to make. As the de decision was announced, the room erupted in applause. May I proudly introduce Brockton's first Youth Poet Laureate, Ayanna Blake. Hello everyone, my name is Ayanna Blake. Um, <laughs> I'm so honored to um, share this piece of me with Brockton. Poetry has such a special place in my heart, and so does Brockton itself. Um, I'm going to read my original poem about Brockton um, and then share my vision for uh, the future with you. Um, this poem is titled, What Brockton Means to Me. I remember what it was like to be the only one in the classroom. I remember Pilgrim Day, where I blushed purple in shame because my ancestors didn't cross the sea in hopes of greater liberty. I remember tight braids and neat press shirts and pretending it didn't hurt when the other children told me I could only ever be Tiana. I remember the first time I picked up a dime and claimed its lost value as mine. I remember they told me that was a lie. And my mother shook me hard and told me don't ever touch money that isn't mine because they'll label you a thief. She told me she'd make sure I'd have everything I'd ever need. I remember the first step I took into a Brockton school. I remember tight braids and locks and gold chains. I remember fresh kicks and so many beautiful ethnic names. I remember seeing so many different shades. I remember what it was like to look at another face and know we were the same. That's what Brockton means to me. Yes, there's trash on the street. Our high school's parking lot isn't neat. There's homeless people living on our streets. But either way, that's our community. That's my community. These are my people, and like Martin prayed in the steeple, I pray that one day we'll have the funds to send every one of our brown-skinned sons to college. I hope that step by step, the people in the streets can step up and out of the predicaments life has left them in. I would spill my blood in, in the streets and use my tears to water the next generation so that when my brother walks down the same streets in the same BHS halls, he's proud of his skin that marks him as kin with the people of this city. In every shade, with every beautiful name, with gold chains, do-rags, and our AAVE slang. My goal as a Youth Poet Laureate is to engage the youth because oftentimes we're left behind. I want to show kids younger than me that look like me, and maybe the kids my same age, that art isn't dead, and that there are so many different beautiful ways to express ourselves. I wanna host workshops, I wanna go into classrooms, I wanna invite people to try something new and different. I want to inspire the artist of Brockton because there's so much potential in this city. I hope to make you guys proud.